Boom shakalaka with Bitcoin joining one of the most miserable markets ever. Today's video, we're going to be taking a look at two bullish divergences you definitely need to keep your eyes on. Stay tuned. What's up everyone, Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's video, we're taking a look at Bitcoin, two bullish divergences you need to keep your eye on right now as Bitcoin is hovering on support we were talking about last week. Before we get into it, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, click the notification bell. Come join us over on Twitter at the Crypto Love, where we share some of the best charts every single day. Push the like button and let's get started. Today, Extreme Fear 20, down from 24 yesterday. People are scared as price is falling, but... Since yesterday, the price is pretty much sideways. Bitcoin at 19,091, Ethereum at 12.90, BNB at 2.71, XRP 48 cents, Cardano 39 cents, Solana 31 dollars, and Dogecoin 6 cents. And like we were talking about on October 4th, Bitcoin broke out of a year-long downtrend. Now the trend is your friend. If we break out of this trend and find the support, well we might have a trend reversal. Right now, Bitcoin has just been riding down on top of that trend line for the past week, and it is finding support on this support band we were talking about since last week, right now, right around $19,000. And if it were to break through this line, there is some other support right here, this green line, 280 weekly moving average, which is about 18.8. Now, that being said, we are in one of the most miserable markets ever. There's no, there's no denying it anymore. Things are bad. If we take a look, the NASDAQ composite is down greater than 30% year to date, down five days in a row, new two year low. If we take a look at this year, 2022, it is one of the six worst markets that the NASDAQ has ever seen since its inception. Uh, joining the ranks of 1973, 1974, 2001, 2008, and 2022. Now that being said, well, if we take a look, if we fast forward 12 months later, three out of five of these were positive returns the following year. Two out of five were negative returns. But if we take a look at the median, the average, 20% returns one year later. So while things look terrible now, well, in three out of five cases, it didn't go down much further. It was pretty much as low as it was going to get as at those points. So... What will happen this year? I don't know. I don't have a crystal ball. But if we take a look right now, people are very, very pessimistic. And we can take a look at this by just analyzing the put-to-call ratio. The puts keep, keep stacking. Aggregated puts on the S&P 500 relative to calls has now made a record high since 2013. This is people betting that the market will go down. And if we take a look, we have this crazy bullish divergence where we have a lower low in the price of the S&P. We have a higher low in the put the uh, fear and greed index. Now, previous time that this happened, higher low in fear and greed index, lower low in the price. Well, look at what happened afterwards. A nice rally afterwards. So that is one bullish divergence definitely worth keeping your eye on. Because if we see a massive rally in the S&P, I think we're likely to see that in Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies as well. Now, if we continue, Bitcoin and the dollar generally go somewhat inverse. As one goes up, the other goes down and vice versa. Well, right now they are coming up to the line in the sand that has generally been support for Bitcoin and resistance for DXY. Potentially one of the best periods to accumulate massive bull running, bull run following as we bounce off of this trend line. Here's another way to take a look at it. Basically, the Bitcoin trend has been down. We're coming up to the breaking point as we had a double bottom right here. USDT dominance trend has been up. However, we have a double top forming, potentially a breaking point as well. We could have a breakout in both of these simultaneously. However, there are some hints that if we trend downwards, right now Bitcoin's at $19,000, look at all of these liquidations to grab below $18,000. Because if we do, a lot of those liquidations will be taken and that'll force the price even lower how long it'll stay down there, I don't know. We've talked yesterday about the uh, average price for Bitcoin wallets holding between 10 and 100 Bitcoin. The price right now is $12,500. That could be support where we may find in the future. But this is 
divergence number two, bullish divergence number two to keep an eye on. Bitcoin is decoupling from the stock market. This heralds a near and very likely bullish reversal. With Bitcoin, we have higher lows. With the stock market, we have lower lows. Potentially, stock market may crash. Bitcoin may take off after this because we have a very similar pattern occurring in Bitcoin that has happened previously. After very long drawdowns in Bitcoin price and very steep price drops, we have somewhat of a double bottom forming before price rallies. Same thing happened in 2014, 2017, and it just happened once again. This could be the double bottom before we really start to see a price rally, which brings us to this chart right here. This buy sell indicator has marked every bottom and top in Bitcoin's history. You basically buy when the green crosses the red and sell when the red crosses the green. So you would have bought down here, sold up here, bought down here, sold up here, sold up here. And guess what? It is indicating buy territory once again. So all of that, where the markets will go, I don't know. I can't predict the future. But a lot of indicators that we have are very, very bullish, limited downside, and potentially huge upside. So that's all for today's video. If you did enjoy it, push the like button. I will catch you guys later. Have a good one. Love you. Peace. If you don't think Bitcoin's going to a million dollars a coin and then $10 million a coin, you're already a loser. Never